We so connected with each other In love with one another That we can't stop You got me feeling for your touch hey guys, So I'm coming to you with another video And as you can tell by the title of this video This is going to be a story time I'm to my mother about high school You know, about what I miss about high school What I don't miss about high school This much I miss high school about this much yeah, it made me think of when I was a freshman in high school, how I was so bad. Like, I would fight because I had to. I was scared to get in trouble, though. Like, I hated getting in trouble. I don't like people talking junk to me because I don't know if I told you guys, like, I used to get bullied bad, like, just every day. It was times where I would have to defend myself, but then, like, I pick and choose who I defended myself against, though. But... That made me think of this time that me and one of my close friends at the time, we pretty much, we did like the worst thing ever. I'ma just jump into this story. So if you wanna hear this story, stay tuned. This story takes place in, this made me feel like I'm so old, but in 1997. 1997. And I was a freshman in high school, I was like, feeling like okay fresh start because I, when we was in middle school we were separated by teens so although we was all classmates we were still separated by teens from sixth grade to seventh grade so we didn't get a chance to be in a classroom with all our classes we're gonna call her we're gonna call her red because she's light skin so me and red we have been friends since we were in elementary because her mom and my mom were real good friends they were at the same company for years and my mom, her house was the only house I was able to go stay the night at with no problem. So she and I was real close, um, but she was also close to this other girl and we're gonna call her, uh, we'll call her Eyes. Cause she had like these big eyes or whatever. So we're gonna call her Eyes. Um, so she was friends with Eyes before I was friends with Eyes. But even though I went to elementary with Eyes, but we was never close like that. Freshman year, Eyes and I was sharing a um, band locker, and Eyes, Red, and myself was sharing a school locker. Red and Eyes were beefing at this point. They, I don't know, because both of them was pretty, and all the dudes liked them, and but Red personality was a little bit more um, flirtatious. Her personality was like, you know, I don't want to call her easy, but it's whatever. You know, whereas I, sickle cell, people liked her and she was like really, really scared. So anyways, they were beefing over the same dude, okay? Now, remind you, although we were all friends, I was never in the middle of none of their stuff. I would, I would stay out of it. If they came to me and talked about one to the other, whatever, whatever, I would have stayed out of it you know i would try to be the peacemaker because that was what i was so red and i were talking one day and red disclosed some information that eyes has said about me now i'm like okay i don't know if red telling me this because she feel like her and red, her and eyes are beefing now so maybe she don't want me to be cool with eyes i don't know but my young dumb behind ran with it because I felt like red was more my girl than eyes was. So I ran with it, you know. So one day before band practice, I confronted her, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you have something to say about me, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, I ain't said anything about you, whatever, whatever. Now, I remind you, I'm, I was probably like five foot one. And I, I, at the time, I probably was like five foot two. So, and I was bigger than her and so she was like literally legit like 80 something pounds and i probably like was 115 so i would have never put my hands on her like that would have been out of the question i would have never fought her i don't care how mad she made me because i'm like she was a stick you know so i felt like she was lying because she talked about other people so i'm like i know i am not that special so when I asked her again, like, hey, were you talking about me? If so, let me know because, I mean, if I did something, rah, rah, rah. 
And she was just like, no, I didn't say nothing about you. Why would you say that? And I was like, well, I heard you was talking about me, you know, because if you got an issue with me, let me know what's up. That's when Red comes down the band hallway and Red was like, oh, you know, you lying. You was talking about her, this, that, and third. Da, da. Red don't care if you're sick, blind, deaf, it don't matter. She throwing them hands. That's just how she always been. Like she, she don't care who you are. She don't care about age, height, weight, none of that stuff. So she was legit finna throw hands with, with eyes. I'm like, no, 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 this can't happen. Cause listen, red hands are as heavy as a brick. Okay. And her blows ain't, ain't nice. Okay. Eyes is legit 80 something pounds dry maybe 90 pounds wet okay and i'm just like no this can't happen not on my watch y'all can fight it because they stayed in the same neighborhood i did you know y'all can fight when y'all get home but y'all can't fight over here not not in my presence they end up getting into a fist fight i ain't gonna lie eyes held her on I'm, i was shocked i ain't even gonna lie i was shocked because i have never seen her fight before i was shocked okay she she held her own. I'm going to give her that. The dude that was arguing over comes and break them up. Right? He was like, what y'all fighting for or whatever. And she was like, Red was like, you know, you know why. And I was really like, no, I don't know why. I'm clueless. What are you talking about? Red said, you know what? I'm going to get this B back. I got to do something to her because, listen, I couldn't beat her like I wanted to. I'm like, oh, what are you trying to do? Now, remind you, although... They was beefing, okay. We all still was sharing the locker. Like we literally would still go to the locker, the same locker, everything else. We'll still put our stuff in there, whatever, whatever. So the first thing Red decided to do was, I had pictures of her mother, of herself as a child. Um, I think of her grandmother or something. I don't know, it was pictures, old pictures that was sentimental to her, like legit sentimental. And I remember, Red going to the locker, taking the girl pictures off of the locker door and ripping each and every last one of them to like no point of return, meaning she couldn't tape it back together if she wanted I'm to. just sitting here like, okay, this is serious, you know? So I was like, I don't want no parts of that. So I'm going to just go ahead and just exit myself. I told her I'll holler at her. Like, she came to me and she was like, um, who, which one of y'all ripped my pictures? And I was just like, I ain't trying to be no snitch, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, all I know is it wasn't me. That's all I said. It wasn't me. And she was like, okay. So after the class, she goes to confront Red. And her and Red are legit arguing at this point. But you no know, teacher come, whatever, whatever. So past that, the next day, we had band class. So me and Red actually skipped class that day. And we go into the band room and remind you again, Eyes and I shared the band locker, okay? And she pretty much asked me to open the locker. So I was like, okay, open it. So y'all don't get me, okay? Please don't come at me because listen, I was young, I think I was like, I don't even know how old I was. So I opened the locker. I just couldn't get sick. Like if you know anything about sickle cell, like you have to be mindful of a lot of things you do. And so we would have band practice that night. So I had this, the off spray or whatever. So I knew Red was getting ready to do something, but again, I wanted no parts of it. So I grabbed my instrument and I turned my back, acting like I was like trying to fix something on my instrument. I just didn't want no parts of it. So just so happened in the middle of Red writing B-I-T-C-H on the door, on the inside, she also took the girl off, sprayed it in her flute mouth. Okay, sprayed it, sprayed it, girl. And that's when the the little white boy <laughs> walked in and he's like what are you doing what are you guys doing over there and i'm like fixing my flu like and he was like um aren't you supposed to be in class i'm like 
what? you were about the wrong thing, okay? So I put my flute, put my flute thing, put it back into the locker, whatever, close it up, whatever. Try to act normal. Now, here comes like six period. I get called to the office. I'm like, oh my goodness, like, remind you, because I feel like I didn't do nothing. So I wasn't necessarily thinking about that situation. So I get into the office, I see Riz and then I'm like, oh, I know why we here. So I see eyes come out the office crying. I see the little white boy come out the office smirking. I'm like, I know I'm in trouble. So get into the office with the dean students. It was me and Red. And he go to explain that the white boy legit came straight to the office and told on us. And they called her out the office. They called eyes out her class to talk to her about like maybe why would we do that to her? She said she don't know, X, Y, Z. And then I'm looking like I ain't trying to be no snitch. I, I, I can't. So I didn't say too much and she wasn't saying too much. So to kind of give you guys an overview of our disciplinary record. Now, this was close to the end of the school year, like maybe in March, maybe school year, school year ended in May. So maybe in March, this, is, this happened. So from the beginning of freshman year to March, I have been suspended four times. I have been in ISS twice. I have had Saturday work detail seem like every month. So when they see all what happened they had to call my dad the principal decided to talk to my dad and said that they wanted to send me to an alternative school which is for like bad kids and my dad was like oh we ain't having it what can we do whatever whatever and he was like you know my record kind of showed that i just i'm constantly keep getting in trouble this that and third fighting and all this other stuff and i'm just like I don't want to go to alternative school. Because, listen, she won that girl, okay? I don't know why I was fighting. I don't know why I was getting this trouble. But she won that girl. Not enough to go to no alternative school. Like, she won that girl. Like, I won't even ever age. I ain't even gonna lie. I would have cried. I would have cried all the way up to, to the school and back. Because the school was literally, literally in another city. I wouldn't have did it. Nope. I had to get up extra, extra early. Go to school with a bunch of bad kids better than me. And because I won that bad, you know? Couldn't do it. So he finally that he finally talked to the one the prince. I was suspended for ten days. I had in school suspension. Okay. In school suspension. That's the worst. I have to be suspended. Okay, you know what that is? That's when you go to school but you're isolated from everybody else and you in this one class all day. And you go to lunch separate from everybody else separate from everyone else whenever everybody go to lunch you the last ones to go to lunch and you couldn't talk you literally went all day without talking only person you was able to talk to was the teacher you couldn't do nothing and i had iss for 20 days 20 and i had set a rugby tail from march until may and then i had to come back the next year next school year my 10th grade year and finish off five saturday work details <sighs> after that i straightened up y'all i was all about my work i i was all about business i i didn't even get suspended <laughs> never again from that point on i never got in. it wasn't even worth it so Red ended up actually going to the alternative school. I don't know what was what because she really used to get in trouble. And so she ended up going to um, the alternative school for the rest of the school year. And then our 10th grade year, she came back like mid 10th grade year, but she ended up getting expelled because she got caught doing the do in the bathroom. With this. But that is the time that I got in trouble and suspended and all the other stuff and I would never do that crap again. And me, oh, me and I ended up becoming friends the next year, our 10th grade year. So we became cool again. 
I had apologized to her and all that other good stuff. But overall, she was still a bad friend because as we got older, she did some things to me, which is gonna be another story time. So just keep it out for her, okay? Out for her name. Because she did some, some really shady stuff to me when we got older. So um, yeah, cause me and her started hanging out real heavy after high school when I came back from Tallahassee. We started hanging out real heavy. So up until I hadn't seen her since, I haven't hung with her like that since 2009. So that's how it is. That was my story. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to hear more stories from me, then you can go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And if you also want to hear more stories from me, like this video, please, you know, and I will see you guys in the next video.